Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Learn how to install Windows 10 in VirtualBox and it will be very easy. You just need to follow me and with all the patience you have got and we will be able to install it. Okay, so the very first thing here, open the browser and here we will type Windows 10 download. I'll mention the link in the description as well through which we can download the Windows 10 ISO. So here we need to scroll down and once you we need to download a installation media. We will click on download now like this. And once the media creation tool is downloaded, you just need to open it and it will ask you to say yes. And very soon you will have a new window. It says getting a few things ready. So we are going to download the ISO first. So here I'll click on accept. Now you will get an option upgrade this PC or create a installation media. So we will select create installation media. And we will click on next. And here you can change the language. Select the edition, which is already there. And we will click on next. And here we will select ISO file. And we will click on next. Now, the moment we do it, it will ask you to select the location. And then we can simply start downloading. So I will cancel it because I already have downloaded it. Once it is downloaded, we need to install the virtual box. So again, I will mention the link in the description. We will type virtual box download. And here you will find an option Oracle Virtual Box Download. And here we need to select Windows Host, the platform packages. I'll mention the link there. And we will click on Windows. And here you will get the Virtual Box file, which is 106 MB. And we just need to open it and install it. I have already installed it. So I will simply cancel this. So now we will open the virtual box now. So I'll just do a double click. The icon will be there in the desktop. And now we will simply click on new. And it will ask you to give a location. I'm in the name. So I'll simply mention Windows 10. And here you can change the folder. If you wish, you can change it or you can simply leave as it is. Make sure you have enough space in your drive. And if not, then change it to the other drive by clicking other. Now here we will select the ISO image and we will click on other. And then we will go to the location where the ISO is there. So in my case, I have saved it in my documents. So I have Windows 10. I'll click on open. So once we are here, once we have selected the ISO, we will check skip unattended installation because unattended installation may not get installed properly. So we will do a check mark here, skip unattended installation and we will click on next. And here we will select the hardware. So here you can go with the medium size, like whatever the green is there. Just make sure you have the not go to the red one it is good if you go with only like this so i'll just simply give 8 gb roundup and processor as well i'll simply get give it eight cores eight processors so you can also try that and then we will click on next now here it says create a virtual disk now 
and here it's asking for 50 gb which is absolutely fine you can make it lesser if you wish 40 gb is also fine you can do that all right and then we will click on next so here i'll not be giving too much space in the computer i'll simply leave to 30 gb and then i'll click on next and i will click on finish and once it is done we just need to click on start and very soon you will have a windows installation process so you can see a new window and i will just maximize it and see a microsoft logo right here now here you can change the language or you can simply leave as it is and then click on next and it will ask you to click on install now which i will do that and the setup setup has been started now you will get an option to activate and if you have it you can enter it else you can click on i don't have it now here it's asking you to select the operating system you want to install i'll go with windows 10 pro and i will click on next so we are going to install the virtual i mean windows 10 pro on virtualbox so here i'll click on accept and then i'll click on next and then you will get an option to upgrade and custom install so please make sure you click on custom install windows only and here you will see the location the unallocated space here you don't have to do anything just click on next and it will start copying files getting files ready and installing features now it will restart once it is finished and you can see a blue screen Don't have to click anywhere so we have successfully installed the windows 10 in the computer uh, it says starting services now it says getting device ready please make sure once it says boot device from cd make sure you do not click anywhere only then you will get this screen getting device ready Now there will be a new screen where we need to create an account in Windows 10. Once we have successfully installed Windows 10 in VirtualBox, we can see we cannot make it maximize. I mean, if we try to maximize it, we, we are not able to. Now to do so, we need to go to Devices and click on Insert Guest Editions and then open the File Explorer there and then go to this pc and here we have this virtual box guest edition do a right click and click on open and here we need to select vbox windows edition just do a right click run as administrator say yes and we just need to click on next next few times and install it and once we install it it will ask us to reboot the virtual machine so we are we don't need to um, reboot the computer we only have to reboot the virtual box where we will get the information so it says reboot now i'll click on finish and it will reboot so now once the restart is done you will see a screen and now you can simply go to full screen mode and click on switch and you will be able to see the full screen now and from the bottom corner you can simply cancel and or you can simply minimize so we just have to i'll show you exactly i'll click on right here 
and we will go to this full screen mode and we will have so now we have the full screen mode you can simply go to view and you will have a complete screen right here you can see that and now you can enjoy if you want to close it you can simply click here and you can power off the machine so if you find this tutorial helpful please hit the like and subscribe and do let me know in the comment section whether you are able to successfully install the windows 10 on virtualbox or not and please do let me know in the comment section if you i'll be glad if you do so and please hit the like and subscribe have a wonderful day